the other thing it does too is grandma in here who's who's trapped hurt and scared we start banging on this thing and the car is doing this you know number one it scares her and number two if we're dealing, dealing with c-spine injuries and stuff we don't want to move her any more than necessary make sense these fire science students are learning to use the jaws of life that's the hydraulic tool used to extract accident victims from cars straight the gap here we have a car that has been donated by a local wrecking yard and what they're going to do today is learn how to use the jaws of life and some of the other rescue tools and some techniques on how to pry people out of out of vehicles when they're all mangled up in a car accident. They develop about 22,000 pounds of pressure at the tips. Uh, they can be very danger dangerous. Uh, when we're prying cars apart, sometimes pieces come loose and fly. So there's uh, and then there's components in the car you have to be careful of. All of new vehicles have got airbags in them. And if the airbag has not been deployed in the vehicle accident, we could accidentally deploy it while we're tearing the car apart. And not only could it injure the victims or, or patients in the car, but there have been firefighters injured too. So they have to know what they're doing. Okay. You make a bigger hole? Now let's see if you can get it right here. Right above that thing. The class is designed to give the kids an idea what the fire service is all about. Uh, we try to do as many hands-on things that real firefighters do as we can, but obviously with high school students, we can't do everything. It's kind of a place for them if they're interested in the fire service to get information, find out if it's something they want to do. I think it's a success if a, if a student decides, hey, this is not for me. If he finds that out in this class and doesn't go to college and spend four years in college and then find out it's not what he wants to do, let's find out early. And uh, if he doesn't pursue it, fine, at least he found out, you know, that it's not for them. Fire science students who placed in the SkillsUSA state championships will compete for a medal at the national competition in May. I get to go to Kansas City, Missouri, and it's national competition. There's going to be a lot of people there. They said about 10,000 yeah, or more, so I'm really excited for that. We get to stay there for a whole week. I really want to be a firefighter. I'm looking forward to it. Um, this, as I, it's just helping me further uh, my knowledge, so... It's going to be good. A lot of people going there. Um, Skills USA, I, I never heard of it before when I was in high school until I got out. Mr. Watt and uh, Mr. Weber, who's in charge of it at Grace uh, Davis High School, they, they introduced me into it. and It's a lot of fun. A lot of, it's a lot of trade schools and all that kind of stuff. So I, I like it. It's a, it's a, good, it's a, good, a good opportunity for, for a, lot of, a lot of kids. Cool. So right in here, you may have to turn it. There you go. Let it work a little bit. Okay, you got it opened up a little bit. Now get your tool in there deeper. Okay, 